because it's just that's just not fun for me. Okay, here we go. Twenty-one thirty-two. This is see. I want. I want a game where there's a chance. Where I have a chance. Okay. So we have a boring fianchetto. Being is like a, I forget the name of this, but um, I don't enjoy. I actually have trouble against these types of openings. Um, yeah, I was hoping to get something theoretical. But it doesn't look like that's going. I wonder if I shouldn't. Have, often I put my bishops in the center. This is pro probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> um, I think I've had this position before. Um, I think it's going to be one one of the nights where I don't play too well. So I could just play bishop d three, but I don't like I don't like ending up having the bishops in the center. It's always awkward for my bishops. But do I have to play bishop d3? I guess I could play queen. No, I can't play queen d3. I'd have to play bishop d3 pretty much or e5 or something. But I think we're committed. Yeah, I do believe it's it will help you if you play it stronger opponents. But again, um, I think you should have a reasonable chance to win. Otherwise, it's just it's just not it's not fun. And if if yeah if if the game is predetermined, you might as well just play stockfish and then. You know, okay, yeah, I've I always have trouble against this opening. Okay, and this is ten and zero, so I I need to hurry up. Um. Am I screwed already? <laughs> oh my god, am I screwed already? I why am I so garbage? I, I don't want to play bishop g5. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to I'm going to play f3. This is this is this is sad. But okay, this is no, this is not not a good start for me. Um, this stream 100% deserved in both cases in both games okay 92 in castle sure um, I mean I can't castle queenside I got a this opening that he played I I fall victim to that in bullet a lot and it it's nasty so let's go queen d2 this isn't such a bad position for white um, but f3 is just that's a hard concession to make now if I was crazy now he, his he hasn't developed his knight like his knights in it he's probably gonna go knight d7 to start knight bd7 but I'm just wondering if I, I might have, maybe I have time to play like G4, you know, G4, King, G2. Because his knight even can't transfer over easily. He would have to do something like this. Um, yeah, uh, I don't want to play D5 because he can break through with C6. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep that shut for now. He's, he, I guess he already calculated if bishop h6 was a problem. Um, I wanted to play g4. But I don't know if I should go knight, g, knight g3 first or g4 first. But I want to I wanna play g4 and knight f5. I guess there's g6. If I go knight g3, there's g6. Therefore, I think I need to... I need to think I need to play g4 right away. Very unorthodox opening for me. I don't move pawns in front of my king, but I have F3 played. I think I might as well utilize its positive benefits, you know, and his pieces are on the other side of the board. Yeah. Okay. So here I was thinking just D5 shut down the center is exactly what I would like. Um, 
or I could continue my attack. The problem is if I continue, I wonder if he could, no, he can't. Yeah, so I mean, d5 is good, but I think maybe I just, although he might take with the e pawn. Oh, but that's not so bad either. I don't, I don't think I mind that. Should I just continue with my attack? Or even knight, knight g3 here now? I like my position. Knight g3. Wait a second, what if he puts like queen there next move? Like if I, let's just say I go here. That could get awkward. Do I have time for this? He can still do this though, can he? No. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna close it down. I'm gonna close it down while I can. And um, I think this is a very nice position for white. I still want to play. Okay, yeah. So I think, I think I'm still going to come, going to come in here. I'm going to do it right now. Get a Kasparov knight on f5. Yeah. So he wants to he wants to trap this. Um, maybe I let him, and I just I just drop the bishop back. I'm going to I'm going to let him do that. Doesn't. No harm, no foul. If you play c4, it's a it's a free move for me. Plus, I've, I'm hitting d6. This is a very nice position for white. I feel, which is undeserved, the way I played that opening. I played it like a a beginner. It's okay. Yeah. So he wants to defend the pawn. So tactics now. I could take here. Uh, I could do a million things. Everything looks good here. Um, takes, takes, queen here, then how did they stop mate? Boom. Oh, he might push here? Probably not. Boom, boom, queen here, how did they stop? How did they stop this? I don't know, I'm gonna do it. I don't know, he may be able to, I guess he could play, he could play 90, 90 98. He could play 98. So I saw that just too late. Uh, 98, and he might be able to hold there. Um, but I can take, I can take here. I can take, I can take on D6, but I don't know if that's enough. Mm, yeah, he's got 98. So takes, queen takes. So queen h6, knight e8. If only my bishop was on this diagonal here. But okay, so g takes, queen takes, knight e8. Yeah. Oh, he goes knight e8 right away. Interesting. I might just come back and enjoy my free pawn. Actually, I've got this too. Do I want to allow him f6? Wait, what if I go bishop takes, knight takes, queen h, then I, if I go bishop takes, knight takes, and then queen h6, how did he stop mate there? Queen h6. Oh, he takes my knight. Oh, almost had him there. Boom, boom, queen h6, knight takes f5. But that still might be good for me. Um, G takes. Here and then because I'm going to go into the corner. I'm going to do that. Very risky. So what was it again? Yeah, takes, takes, queen takes, takes. Take with the G pawn. Take with the G pawn. F6. Came here. I push. Oh, I don't know. That's so risky. I'm going to. Oh, should I do it? 
Okay, I don't know. I might have blew my chance here because I could have just come back. I might have, I might have, the smart move would have just to come back and enjoyed the, the pawn and, and white is completely winning there. Um, instead, I'm trying to get a knockout blow. And um, I think, I think black can actually defend here. Um, probably, probably by pushing the, the F pawn because my bishop can never help. I have no other pieces. All I have is, a, is two rooks. Um, the safe way would have just been to bring my bishop back. Do I want king f2 or king h1? Probably, well, probably doesn't matter that much. I'm really not sure. Um, maybe king h1. There's some pivot movement that we could do on f2. With the rooks. But yeah, I was thinking like he may be able to defend with, with f6 here. Although I, I have a draw, actually, if he plays f6. So I'll have, I'll be able to calculate, and if it doesn't work out, then I can force a draw. So, yeah. Um, so I could force a draw here. So let's, so we'll, so we'll go boom, boom. Um, yeah, so if he goes rook f7, rook g1 check, and it's mate in two. So that doesn't work. Boom, check. Um, doesn't work for him. So king h1. Oh, king h1, that's what he has to do. So maybe I should give a check there first? No. So king h1, king f2, I mean king f7, check. Yeah. I could pick up this bishop then. Ooh, how greedy do I want to be? Oh, so if I go to check here first, he comes in here. Can I go here? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'm gonna try to go for the win. I also forgot to calculate this, but I don't think oh there is rook here. Um still doesn't work. No, I think his best chance is king f7. Yeah. King f7, what if I still push here? Rook g1. Ooh, he goes here then? No, then I have check. So rook g1, king here. Okay, that's, or should I give a check first? Check here? No, I'm gonna go rook g1. Yeah, so rook g1, king e8. Ooh. I don't know. Um, then go king h, or queen h5. He's escaped. Oh, he's, he's, he's not, though. Queen h5. I actually, I had, I had this check too. Well, I still do. I've got to do something meaningful. With him. He resigns and that's a new personal best. I think he still should have played it out a couple more moves, but new personal best on rapid 19 points um, because my RD is so high. Um, 2154, <laughs> 2154 new personal best. I really, I took a lot of risk that game. I really went gung-ho with the attack. Um, I'm sure I didn't play that precisely, but um, that'll be interesting to go over. It's uh, very lucky I got that win because I, I, like, I played that opening like an absolute beginner, no exaggeration. And it's not the first time that has happened. Um, yeah, that was... That was a big attack. Oh, 
Hey, thank you for the 45 bits, sick boy meme. I appreciate it. I uh, haven't seen you in the stream before, probably because I don't, I normally don't stream quite this late, or this is usually when I'm finishing my stream. Um, yeah, new personal best on Rapid. And thanks for the follow as well. Um, yeah, what I was going to say was, I, sometimes I forget how fun it is to attack because it's not my style. I, I play a very, very solid, a very solid, oh, I got to block this guy here, here, hang on. I play a very, um, or ban this guy, um, solid style of chess. And usually I won't get many games where I can attack like that. And when I do, it's really fun because you just, <laughs> well, of course attacking is fun, but it's, it's usually not my style. And it's not fun to defend. It's not fun to defend and play boring prophylactic chess. So it's fun when I get a game like this once in a while. Okay, so let's take a look at that game. Um, yeah, so I just played it the worst. I forget the name of this opening. Ooh, it almost came to me. Uh, B, B6. Dang, I forget. There's there's a couple names for it, I believe, and I forget. Um, and you know what? I think my move here is actually bishop d3 first. I think that's my repertoire move. Um, well, after this game, I'm 2154 for the first time. Um, because my RD is so high, my rating deviation, it kind of a little bit generous on the points. If I had lost, I would have lost uh, um, about 19 points as well. But yeah, so I believe in looking at it now, it's bishop d3. I think I'm just a little bit tired and I kind of forgot that. Um, knight c3 is, is fine though, but bishop e3 is probably not precise. Um, I've fallen for this so many times. Yeah, because I mean, bishop, bishop b4 comes and we don't have a great response. Um, I might have to start, probably have to play weird here now. Although I probably could have still just played queen d2. Nothing wrong with queen d2 here. No, sorry, there is. Yeah, so I don't, I guess I don't have a choice at bishop d3. You're 800. Yeah. Everyone starts out, everyone starts out at the same level. Uh, what you have to look forward to, though, is arguably the, the most fun periods of chess because you, you get to learn so much and you get to have such improvement at, you know, at the early stages. And it's arguably the most fun time of playing chess. After bishop d3, you should look at f5. You mean f4 or f5 for black? You mean two F, you mean um, three, three bishop d3? Yeah, so here I'm already in trouble. I, yeah, I play, you know, I actually like my f3 move considering the circumstances. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to have to, uh, I mean, I didn't see any good alternatives, um, but I don't, this is actually an interesting position. I mean, we have double pawns and we have a pawn on f3. However, we do have the bishop pair and they're nice and cozy. Um, this is an interesting position. I wonder what the computer will evaluate it as. Black probably has to make some tactical <coughs> pawn breaks with like c5, d5 here. But this is probably fine for white. So, um, Black probably shouldn't have taken on c3, I think. I think that was a mistake. He should have just castled or something. Um, I think this was a mistake by black. Also, h6, I think it has to be a mistake. Um,
Yeah, and then here I'm already, I already thought white had a pleasant position or at least a decent position. Um, and I, I thought, I think e5 was a mistake too. Well, e5 may not have been so bad, but I thought c5 was very strange. The c5 by black, just allowing me to decide what to do. I could close the center. Also, I could just ignore it. Um, I could just ignore it, but I decided to close it down because I'm, I'm launching a, an attack on the king side here. So good to close down the center. Um, yeah, just bringing another piece. I got my Kasparov Knight on f5. And here I, I think like this was such an enjoyable position to have as white. The only thing I don't like here is our light squared bishop, which is not going to have any influence on the game. But there's just so I'm, I could take on g6, I could take on h, oh, sorry, on g7, I could take on h6, I could push the h pawn, I could push the g pawn. I think this is probably like plus two, plus three, at least, at least plus two for white here. It has to be. Um, yeah. And then okay, this is when I, like this was, kind. I spent a long time here and this was, kind of, this was I'm not sure if this was good because I could have simply have just come back and been much better, but I was also a little bit low on clock on the clock, and there's no increment. Um, hello, uh, recursion. Yeah. So. Um, Yeah, so this was this was a risky endeavor because I calculated all this as you remember, but I I wasn't quite sure if Black could defend here. Then again, he has to defend one hundred percent accurately, or he's going to be in trouble. Um, whereas I don't have to attack one hundred percent perfectly. I don't think. So I mean, he has to play. At least I think he has to play f six. Yeah, and then king here. Yeah, and uh, he didn't really have any. This was all forced. Uh, I'm wondering if if queen h5 first would have been better. So the idea that he goes into king e7. And then I then I play rook g1. Um. No, I think I did the right move order. Although here, I'm, it's probably still good because then I could play queen h7. I think either way, it's actually fine for white. But this this seems a more principled way. Um, I could have also given a check on b5 um, first. But I think, yeah, and he just resigns here. I, I still think he should have played up maybe at least one more move, probably a couple more moves because I, I was in some time trouble. Um, but yeah, basically... Basically, he, he has like king e7. Oh, is it, well, that's just, I mean, I guess he could have played king d7 and given up, traded his queen for a rook. You know, he could have tried to fight on. Um, king d7, we go, we go rook check, and then he goes queen in front, queen uh, e7. Well, but then there's still check here, yeah. So I guess, yeah, there was really no hope. Because I'm going to get the queen for the rook, and then I'm going to get a minor piece for a pawn. And my queen is in there too. So there was, it was really resigning material or time here. Okay, we'll look at that with the computer. Um, first, I just wanna look at my opponent's account. So he only plays rapid and he was 2187 um, a couple of days ago. Okay, let's look at this with the computer now. And we have to look at that terrible, terribly played um, opening by me. I can't believe I got a new personal best, man. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at, I cannot believe the computer, the computer says I played perfectly. I, I thought I played the opening terribly. Okay, I'm trying to hide my webcam. Look, look, look underneath my webcam here. Um, look at that. 16 average cent upon loss, zero inaccuracies. I don't agree with that. I think I played the opening terribly. So I don't agree with that, but we'll see. 
because um, the Owen defense. Okay, that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it, it looks like. It looks like I'm cheating, although the opening says otherwise. Um, yes. Yeah, so I yeah, Bishop D three is main line, which I I forget in in like bullet games. I should have remembered here though, because I had plenty of time. Knight C three is fine, but Bishop D three is my repertoire move. So e6 is main line. Bishop e3 is... Yeah, see, this is a mistake. I don't know what the computer is smoking. The computer says I made zero inaccuracies, but this is in, this should be an inaccuracy. Look, I mean... Um, I think this is... this. I mean, it goes from 0.7 to 0.1. I know it's, it's only at depth 21, but still. So the computer is wrong here. Bishop e3 is... It has to be bad. Uh, because of bishop b4 yeah this is this is a mistake so if you play knight c3 here which i need to avoid in the future yeah knight f3 or bishop d3 basically dealing with what's about to come after bishop b4 um, well but after four bishop well but i'm not going to play knight c3 in the future um, but you, you want to see, you want to look at this line, Mr. Saban, Bishop D3, F5. I don't know what you mean. Let's take, I don't understand. You must be thinking of something else. I think you meant move five. So anyways, Bishop E3. Bishop b4, no, bishop b3. Yeah, so f3, yeah, queen f3 and f3 is what the computer recommends here. And yeah, and I was right, this is a mistake by black. Um, computer like c5 here, further undermining my awkward center um i thought possibly even just castling here might be okay which computer agrees now basically avoiding taking on c3 uh actually although here it says it's not so bad but i still think this was not the right response yeah okay. white is white is, is is good here yeah that was that was a strange kind of a strange move by my opponent and this was another one. So I played poorly in the opening, but then so did he. So it evened out. Um, castled, d6, queen d2. Yeah, e5 was a little slightly weird. Um, computer is suggesting g4 here. a4, computer move, knight g3. Yeah. yeah so I'm surprised that knight g3. I, knight, oh. I guess knight g3 still works. I thought g6 stops it, but then h6 is hanging. So I could have played knight g3 first. Um, it actually doesn't, yeah, it doesn't care for g4 that much. There might be some ways for, for black to kind of bunker down here. It's still good for white, but um, it does just like knight g3 first. I, I, yeah, I misread this that he could play g6. So c5, yeah, d5 was best, locking down the center. Yeah, knight g3 was good. Um, knight f5, of course, was good. Yeah, this was, that was, a, that was another weird blunder for my, my opponent did not play well. I kind of got a, a free win in some ways, the way my opponent played. I don't understand knight b8. Oh, no, I remember now. Yeah, because I'm, I'm hitting d6. Uh, but he couldn't he just defend with a queen, like queen c7 or something. Yeah, he goes to do it with discovery threats. If I take here, he could like discover on my knight. Um, but okay, uh, it is a rapid game, so it's not as long as a classical game. But. 
So, sorry. So, yeah, best move, what bishop takes. I was considering, I, I gave, I mean, this seems the best move, but I, I did briefly consider this, but, uh, and not to, and then not to take the rook, but just to, like, come back. But, yeah, it didn't look nearly as good to me as uh, bishop takes. And, uh, yeah, knight e8 is, is the best move. Um, G takes, I, I thought... Yeah, so the G, G6 is, is also is second best. And it actually likes King H1. That's, wow, that's nasty, King H1. Um, yeah, I don't know. Everything is good here. You could just take the Rook. Um, pick your pick your choice. Everything is good. So, um, yeah, but yeah, 98 is what I expected. And it really, I just thought, the safe way is to just bring it back. I'm curious what the computer thinks of that. Yeah, it's still good, but it's it's not the best way forward, but that's the safest way. Um, arguably the safest way. Computer actually likes F4 is the best move. I would never play F4 here. Um, uh, never mind. Now it does like bishop takes G, G7 as the best move. Yeah, so knight takes is forced. Queen H6 is best. Knight takes F5 is best. Um, G takes is the only move. And yeah, f6 is forced, king h1, yeah, this is all kind of forced. Yeah, and there was just nothing that, that black could do here. Um, it's just game over here. Yeah, so just a quick recap of that game again. Um, bishop d3, I'm sure, is my repertoire move. Um, uh, and, but it, it, if, Somehow I forget this in the future. Um, this is really the mistake. Bishop e3 because of bishop bishop b4. Normally that is not a threat you have to worry about in an opening. Um, a move like a bishop pin like this. So it's so strange that you, it's actually a concern here. That's why it's I miss it all the time. Um, to pretty much any other move other than bishop e3 is good here for white and uh, and then um i don't know oh yeah here i um computer preferred knight g3 first over g4 but this was still good and it closed down the center bring in uh, get in a kasparov knight and uh yeah i mean black really kind of dug his own grave here the way he played it um he he created a a, a pawn for me to bite on he, then he closed the center he made it like some slow moves, bringing the knight back. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, this h6 really hurt him in the end. <laughs> you know, there was, and there was no need for that either. He didn't want this pin, but that was no problem. Like he could like even just d6 here and then knight bd7, like this pin is no problem. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let me look at my account now. Whoops. I want to keep that game open for later. I want to look at my account. Whenever I set a new personal best, I like to look at my account. Hello, Dr. Chainsaw. Um, yeah, so 2154.